Hey there, welcome back. So I decided to install a TPM module on my Maximus Hero motherboard. There it is. Let me see if I can zoom in. Right there. And there's not a lot of information about these. Um, not that I can find anyways. But they are very basic, so just wanted to let you guys know about it. So, installation was fairly easy. You just put it in the spot. You do have to buy the correct one. This is a 14-1 TPM module. This one is made by ASUS. So make sure you order the right one because I believe there's a 10 uh, by one. And I bought that one first and, oops, had to return it and get the right one. So once you install it and turn the computer back on, it does take uh, some time to actually uh, boot up. I mean, not a long time, but longer than usual. And I think it's because the BIOS then recognizes it. So once you have it installed, if you go to Advanced, and then you should see a new option, Trusted Computing. And you should see in there, TPM 2.0 Device Found. And that gives you some options here, which I'm going to leave um, alone. So after this, Really, all that's required is for you to go to your uh, desk um, or into your My Computer, right-click on your desk, and then click uh, BitLocker. Or go to the Control Panel, search for BitLocker, and turn on BitLocker. And then it'll ask you for a password. And, um, and that's really about it. It'll encrypt your drive. It may take some time. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. The kind of question that I have is, since I'm going to have to use a password to get into my computer just to turn on, do I really need a Windows password? Well, the answer is yeah. You're always going to need a Windows password because you want to keep your, your system secure. But what I was thinking is I'm, I may look into getting a thumbprint scanner, uh, see if they sell a USB one. That way, I have to type in a password to get into the system, but then I'm lazy. I don't want to type in another password basically scan your thumbprint to actually get into the system. So what do you guys think about that? So let's get into Windows and let's take a look at the process there. Oh, real quick, one thing to note, while I'm doing this, I'm at stock settings. There's no way in hell that I'm gonna have be running on overclock profiles while I'm encrypting my drive. Last thing you need is a blue screen of death while it's encrypting your hard drive. That would be a very bad thing. So yeah, make sure you're not overclocked while when you do this. Okay, so now we're in Windows. Let's go ahead, let's go ahead to the control panel by just clicking on the start button. And just typing in, start typing in control panel, it should pop up. And then once in the control panel, you should just be able to type in bit and you should see bit locker drive encryption. All right, so as you can see, my C drive's off and my fixed drive is off. I plan to turn on BitLocker on both of these. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on BitLocker. And it's verifying that I have a, what's well, asking me, do you want to back up your recovery key? Hmm. I will, and I will probably save it to my Microsoft account. Or I could print it and put it in my safe. Mm -hmm. So I want to do save to Microsoft account. Ah, see, you need to be one of the things I do not log in with my Microsoft account, so I am not going to be able to do that. No, that's good to know. And you can save it to a file as well, um, which is fine. Um, but I think I'm going to go ahead and print the recovery key after I save it to a file. Hmm. Well, no offense guys, so I'm gonna lock out the key here, but I'll show my key here. Um, so that's fine. I'll just block that on the video, but the file name is basically BitLocker Recovery Key File Name, <laughs> which, is, which is fine. Is going to change that, save that to my documents and save. 
So it won't let me save it to the encrypted drive. So I'll go ahead and save it to my D drive for now. And then also, like I said, I'll move it to my LastPass account as well. Oh, it won't let me do it there. Oh, the root location. All right. So I guess I'll do backup because that's where it belongs. All right, and it'll, it does let me have an option to print it as well. So I'm gonna do that as well and put that in the safe. I wanna make sure that prints before I hit next. There it goes, if you guys can't hear the printer. Loud laser printer. And I am gonna verify that it is printed before I click next. This is one process you don't wanna mess with. Yep, I have the key. All right, so next we're going to go ahead and click next. Now it's giving me an option here, how much of the drive you want to encrypt. Encrypt use the space only, faster for best for new PCs, or encrypt the entire drive. So I think I'm just going to do the user space um, because that's usually where I keep my stuff, anyways. Well, actually, this is use space only. Sorry. So it's giving me two options here to encrypt use the space only, faster, and best for new PCs and drives or encrypt the entire drive slower. So I think I'm gonna do the entire drive just to keep my data fully protected. And then we have another question here. Choose what encryption mode to use. Windows 10, introducing new disk encryption mode. This mode provides additional integrity support, but the, it's not compatible with older version of Windows, which I have no care. All right. So if this is a removable drive. You don't want to use this mode, basically. But this is a fixed drive. So yeah, we want to do with the new encryption mode. I'm good with that. And are you ready to encrypt this drive? Encryption might take a while, depending on the size of your drive. You can keep working while the drive is being encrypted, although the PC may run more slowly. That's fine. Okay. We wanna, we're gonna go ahead and check that off because I do wanna make sure that does occur. So it's telling me it's gonna... All right, so then we're gonna restart. Okay, so I guess uh, it rebooted uh, real quickly. Asked me for my uh, password to get in and it's now encrypting the drive. Now, I think I may have been mistaken at first. I thought with the uh, BitLocker, you had to enter it in a password um, before the computer starts. Um, I know uh, my work computer uh, for the uh, business that I work on, um, it does have a password you have to enter in before you logged in. I thought that's how this worked. This looks like uh, with the, the chip there, the TPM chip is basically just encrypting the drive based on your Windows password. So um, we'll see how the this goes through. So I'll have a um, NVMe SSD. So this is going well, it looks like to be fairly good speed. I've seen it uh, drive encryptions before in the past where it just takes forever. So anyways, I'll let this finish up and we'll go from there. Okay, so I found an article on how to enable the uh, pen as uh, for uh, pre-boot authentication. So this article basically goes into basically turning on encryption, what we've done so far, going into the group policies and requiring a pen at startup, and it goes into how to do that. 
And then step three is actually adding the pen by doing a command prompt as well. So it looks like I'll be able to add a pen to this. So pre-boot environment and then go into, uh, it'll have me type in a password before I get into Windows, which I think that's what I want thinking about it. If the computer ever gets stolen, that prevents it from any login screen attacks. Like it, you know, prevents them from actually logging onto the network. And for, you know, and sometimes, you know, there's vulnerabilities that come out for the login screen. So this way they can't even get into the system. It just stops them right there. So I'm definitely gonna do this uh, right after the encryption is fully done for my C drive. Okay, it's 751. Not really sure. I guess I can look back at the video and see when the encryption started. But uh, 751 now. So whenever, if you wanna go back to the video and see when it started, that's how long it took a 500 gigabyte uh, NVMe SSD. It's the uh, Samsung Evo series uh, uh, drive. So now I'm gonna put a, a pin to it. So we've already done this portion of it. So we gotta go to group policy. So we're gonna do this, Windows R, and type in GP edit. MC, MSC. All right. And we're going to go into administrative templates. Windows component. BitLocker. And I believe operating system drive. And double click require additional authentication at startup. All right, here we are. And we're going to click Enable, Allow TPM. Let's uh, scroll down on this uh, tutorial here and require TPM pin with TPM. Okay. We're going to go ahead and click Apply. And okay, and move down to the next one. We need to go to the control panel using the admin. So I'm just type in CMD and we're gonna run it as administrator. And we're gonna use this command. All right, enter the pin used to protect the volume. Okay, I'm not gonna show you some of the numbers, but basically it's tell, telling me that it was uh, successful. All right, so it wants, uh, next it wants us to verify by using this command. Let's see what we have here. And status protection on TPM and pen. So what are we looking for? Numerical password key protector display is here. Key protectors. Key protectors none found, and then key protect. Oh, C volume. Ah, there we go. That's the difference. All right, this is the three gigabyte drive. Threw me off there. This is volume zero. <laughs> and then we have volume C here. Okay, very cool. So, yes, that, that's, that threw me off there for a second. Make sure you're looking at the right drive. All right. And how to change your pen? Nope. And how to remove the pen? Nope. We don't want that. We don't want that. And yeah, so that's basically it for adding a pen. So basically I'm done. 
So next thing I'm going to do is just turn it off and see if my uh, pen works. Okay, computer's coming on, and here's the bit blocker screen requiring my pen. Awesome. So that's it, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you want me to do any other type of videos like this or whatever uh, you can think of um, next. So I'm still thinking about deleting my CPU. Uh, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm trying to wait to see if a new BIOS update comes out before I do that uh, or software for the monitoring just because I don't really trust it right now. Um, but like I said, I hope you enjoyed the video and you guys have a great day. So I thought I was done. I added the pin number to my drive but what ended up happening was when I went to turn on BitLocker for the other fixed drive that I have here, which is a three terabyte drive, it uh, wouldn't take it. Just uh, gave me an error that group policies was not allowing me to. So I had to follow the tutorial on how to remove the policy. So I put the policy back to what it was and then remove the pen so I can do the fixed drive. So now I can do the fixed drive. I can turn on uh, BitLocker now and I'll just say automatically unlock on this computer because I really don't want to have to type in a password to unlock the drive and I don't have a smart card to unlock the drive. So I'll go ahead and click next. I guess this has its own recovery key. So basically it goes through the same process as before and get uh, print out the recovery keys and encrypt the drive. So I'm going to go ahead and do this, and then I'm going to turn BitLocker back on, which I'm not going to show you that again because I already showed you once. But just so you're aware that you will have to do this first before turning on the pen. All right, guys. Have a good one.